Welcome back to the Valdez Family Homestead. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because it just helps us out here and jumps us up on the algorithm. Today on the channel, we are uh, going to make our garden here on our tiny homestead. And so this whole back area right here behind me is going to be our garden. So what we have to do, since we are going to have some chickens here, and we got Apollo and he likes digging through the dirt and messing up things. And then we got our other little animals. They like digging through things. We got our other dogs. And so what we have to do is build a fence blocking this area off. Apollo, come on, man. Sorry, Apollo jumped on me there. We're going to make a easy do-it-yourself hog fence here on the tiny homestead. And I'm going to show you guys how we're doing it and how easy it is to do this if you need to block off an area if you want to make a garden in your homestead we haven't done too much without you guys but as you can see here we have the holes dug up so each hole we got all the holes dug up here that's what i've been doing all day here so we got six holes and we're doing these with some four by fours it's going to look really nice it's cheaper to do this on your own instead of going out having a fence pre-made for you built out it's going to be much cheaper just to do this on your own we've got the holes dug out we've got them a foot deep because we're only doing a uh, three foot fence so a foot deep hole is good enough it's going to make it stable so in between these holes here yes apollo so in between these holes here they are eight feet. You want to do eight feet between the holes besides where your gate's going to be. So if once you figure out where your gate's going to be, that's six foot right there. So I'm going to have a six foot gate just in case we need to be rolling anything back here that's uh, wider or bigger that I need to get back here. So eight foot between the holes there. Then for a three foot fence, a one foot depth for the posts is going to be um, about the where you want to be. Uh, just to give you an idea, so for like a six foot fence, the post, you want about a two foot de deep hole. Right here is my four by fours. I gotta stack them over there because I'm gonna need about six posts and then another uh, six going across here. So what I'm gonna do here, because we're doing a three foot hog wire, as you can see over there, I want about six inches of a post sticking up up top so we can put uh, lights, or whatever we need to on the top. So you don't want to cut it all the way off so you have some posts sticking up on top. Always remember safety first, especially when you're cutting this much wood, it can get into your sinuses, into your mouth. You want to stay protected. So I like to wear, you know, some type, some form of mask, at least to protect from getting too much of the sawdust inside, uh, inside your nose or your mouth. And then always wear goggles protection glass safety glasses goggles you, you want to you want to be protected because you never know what can come flying back at your face into your eyes you always want to protect All right, so now we have the six posts cut out here. So I have my six posts. What we're gonna do is take these to the back where I need them. We're gonna need a leveler uh, to get these nice and level inside the ground. And then we're gonna get this fast setting concrete mix here. And so the good thing about this fast setting concrete mix, you don't need to mix it prior to putting it in the hole where you're going to be putting these posts. You dump it just as it is dry in the hole and you start circulating in water uh, while you're doing that. We got the post out here now. Time to go get the concrete and the leveler so we can get this started. Bring our hose out here, get the water ready, get these posts in so we can start to build this fence here on our homestead. So what we're gonna do is get this all nice and organized, 
start putting a post per hole here and then put a bag of concrete next to each hole as well. So for this project, the foot deep hole, uh, one bag of concrete should suffice. So we're gonna do that, start pouring our concrete into the hole and then uh, start mixing in that water, making sure that pole is nice and level with our leveler. All right, so I got my first post uh, started right back there. Moving on to the second. This is probably one of the easiest parts. Just gotta make sure that you're staying in line. Uh, that's why you need some type of guide string when you're doing this, especially when you're digging the holes, you want that guide string. And just make sure that you're staying in line here with uh, the rest of your holes and that so the posts are lined up. You don't want your posts to be you know, offset or anything once you get to where you have to put the fence, the gate on and everything else. So this is my last post and then we're pretty much done with this part. So as you can see, I got all my posts up there. So we're gonna finish this last one here and then we're gonna let it set and we're probably gonna have to come back tomorrow to do the rest. Even though this is quick read, you wanna give it some time to set because if you come in and finish out your work here, you could uh, potentially make these posts you could make them crooked that's just gonna waste your time you're gonna have to redo things and you just want to do things right the first time so we're, once we're done here we're gonna let these settle in come back tomorrow then we'll start setting up the rest of the uh, hog fence here also wanted to let you folks know tomorrow's the big day they send off our chickens so our Issa Browns they're sending them off and then probably about Wednesday or Thursday, we'll pick those up. And so we're super excited here on the homestead to be getting our chickens. Still haven't built the coop, but that's okay because they're gonna be little baby chicks and they won't need the coop just yet. So we'll get that done afterwards. That will be in a separate video here on the homestead. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on everything here on our homestead. All right, so we have one cross post already set up here I'm bringing out the next one i'm going to show you guys how i'm doing this so let's come this way so you can see what i've done so far let's take a look and if you look here what we've done is very simple like i said this is a easy build do it yourself i want to make it as easy as possible not only for me, to help you as well at your homestead if you're planning on doing a hog wire fence like this as well. So I just took some L brackets like this, very sturdy L brackets. So this is a five, a five inch corner brace. So it'll give you that stability that you need. And so I'm putting these L brackets right here on the bottom on each corner. And then right here on the corners on the tops, I'm taking a screw, I'm going at an angle just for that extra support, just to make sure that it's going to last a long time for us here on our homestead. What you're going to need from this is your leveler, a drill, your L brackets, a pin, a tape measure. Like I was saying, we wanted at least three inches up here on the post. We, got, we ended up coming up with a, a little bit more because you got to realize it might be a little bit higher on one end that you're gonna have to go, so you might have a little bit more post than the other side. I also recommend, if you have them, some saw horses to hold hold one side up while you're working with the other side, especially if you don't have any help. So you wanna have your fencing out here just to make sure how high you're gonna need it or low you're gonna need it with the fencing on there. So I'm doing a three foot fence here. So if I hold up the fence to the line here, it's just perfect to where I need it going all the way across here. All right, so I got that first bracket on there. 
Now I kind of know where I need to position this next one and get it leveled out. So we're going to go to this side over here and, and get it nice and level so I know where I need to place my next bracket. So we got these two built out now. Next is the gate. So I got to go build the gate. And then we have two more sections that I'm going to have to do these cross posts with. So we're going to get that done. We're going to go build the gate. And then we're going to take care of the rest of the cross posts. And then the fencing and we're pretty much done here. All right, so we're going to make the gate out of uh, some two by fours here. So I just got some two by fours to make the frame. Fairly easy here. This is a kit I picked up at Home Depot. Makes it easier if you buy each thing individually, it costs more. So it's better to get this kit for $34. It comes with the frame. So basically it has um, for, each, for each corner, it has an L bracket. So to make it easier and then it has the hinges. The only thing you'll need to buy for this is the latch. The latch does not come in here. So we have the frame built out now. So it's day three here on the Valdez homestead and we're just about finished. We are on the last step here for our hog wire fence to protect our garden. As you can see here, we got all the posts and then the cross posts. The only thing that we're not doing on this, cause this is an easy build here. We're not doing the foot boards at the bottom here. That's because we won't need them. What we're going to do is, with this hog wire, what we're going to do is dig a small little trenches all the way across so we can uh, bury it under just a small bit, just a tad bit, just so the chickens can't get under and there's no push from the dog on there either. So what we're going to do is run this hog wire fencing and use these three-fourths staples here. So these are just some poultry net staples as you can see there. These are three-fourth inch. I did not get to share with y'all. So we have a latch right here to enter in. And then if you look here, this is what that kit came with for the four corners to give you that frame. So let's get this hog wire fencing on and finish this project here on the Valdez family homestead. All right, so we're getting to the end here where we're getting to the gate. So we're gonna have to get some cutters, cut it to where we ended off here, and then we're gonna have to make a separate sheet for the gate. So let, that's what we're gonna do now. It would be easier to remove the gate to put the hog wire on the uh, gate part, uh, but to save time here, I'm just gonna latch it, and then we're just gonna do it with the, with the gate attached to the fence. There you have it. We finished the fencing. It's all finished. Just gonna come back and stain it and then trench it better under the ground here to uh, avoid anything from entering in through the bottom or digging underneath. Uh, so we'll trench it underneath there and stain it and that's it. That's how simple it was to do this hog wire fencing here. It's depending on how, how big your area is Get some 4x4s, some 2x4s, um, and then a kit to build out your gate. And then this, uh, depending on how high you want it as well, we went with the 3-foot hog wire fencing. 
but you can make it, of course, taller if you want. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again for being here on the Valdez Family Homestead. Until the next one, see you guys later. Bye.